The next Built by Google event will take place on October 4th at 10 a.m., giving us just over a month before we see the Pixel 8 series in person. Also discovered on the Google Store page are the Pixel 8 Pro and Pixel Watch 2. Two key details clearly visible in the promotional image convince us that we are indeed looking at a Pixel 8 Pro, first and foremost the rear-facing camera system, which contains three mysterious sensors confined in one big pill-shaped space rather than being split into side-to-side -side modules. In addition to the triple shooter system, there are two sensors rather than one, with the component at the top presumably acting as a good old-fashioned LED flash. While the small circular item at the bottom should take care of body temperature readings in a move by Google to stand apart from today's Android flagship pack. So far, all Google Pixel 8 Pro leaks have outlined the significant hardware enhancements promised for this year's range. In contrast to last year's Pixel 7 series, this year's Pixel 7 series is expected to include more camera enhancements. For greater imaging capabilities, the business is reported to employ a larger and newer 50-megapixel Samsung GN2 sensor and move to a 64-megapixel ultra-wide shooter on the Pixel 8 Pro. Google aims to introduce a new camera UI with the 2023 Pixel, according to a recent leak. A 6.7-inch QHD plus LTPO OLED panel with a refresh rate of 120Hz will be available on the Pixel 8 Pro. The device will be driven by the Google Tensor G3 SOAP and will have a Titan security chip in tow. There might be two models, each with 12GB of RAM. While the standard model is set to have 128GB of storage, the more expensive choice will probably have 256GB. The Pixel 8 Pro is believed to include a 50-megapixel main camera with OIS, a 64-megapixel ultra-wide camera, and a 48-megapixel telephoto shooter. The device is believed to sport an 11-megapixel camera sensor on the front for selfies and video conferencing. The device is set to have a 4,950 mAh battery, enable 27-watt wired charging, and run Android 14 out of the box. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.